Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the Type 92 with a crew of three. Dimensions you can see on screen now, it has a max length of about four meters, as you can tell, a very small tank. Its role, of course, was a tank it, being its small size, and the number built was 167. Arms include 113mm HMG and a 7.7mg. .7 then uh, you can see here the engine, 45 horsepower total, and a max speed of 40 km per hour. But that guys is pretty much it, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to avoid you bringing you in our Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the Type 92 Ju Sokosha. Hopefully I said that right, I don't speak Japanese, so I don't, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Hopefully I uh, pronounced it right, but you guys can see the name in the uh, title and also the description. Now basically this here is a light uh, tank, uh, basically classified as the first Japanese tankette. Uh, so basically this is the Type 92 tankette. Basically we've already done tankette before, and these tankettes are always fun because they're just so small and just cute little tanks that are just fun to build. And I uh, went ahead and put this one together, and this is for my Christmas special. I'm not going to try to give away any spoilers, but, uh, you know, we're going to have something awesome planned. So this is going to actually be part of it. And you can expect for the next 12 days to each have a build that is uh, for that. So if you guys haven't put connected the dots, then I don't know what to tell you. You'll have to just wait till Christmas Eve when the main video is out. So anyways, going ahead and uh, taking a quick little look at this vehicle. Um, it's fairly cool and it's got it's pretty I got the details pretty good I got the shaping of it pretty right uh, for its size. I mean, it's a very small tank coming in I believe it's only four meters with my upskilled uh, tanks. This is going this is basically eight meters So basically or eight blocks wide or long um, So basically, you know, of course a two-to-one scale, but this thing is absolutely a tiny little tank um, you can see up here you have the uh, a machine gun up here. I believe they were just machine guns. I don't know 100% sure. I probably told you guys in my little intro bit so you guys will know there. But basically you just have some uh, machine guns and stuff. Um, basically uh, a tank at just mounting some machine guns for anti-infantry purposes and all that stuff. Uh, since this was starting to be, this basically was produced in 1925. So uh, basically right after World War uh, One, pretty much. So very nice. See here the tracks got some good details going on that uh, back again some good little details uh, the muffler some vents stuff like that on your side I'm over here probably like a toolbox or something and uh, you know just some stuff on the other side here so you have the muffler on one side and other just random gear on the other um, of course a little bit of a radio antenna and uh, some uh, spotlights and stuff like that lots of lights I saw in this tank it has a lot of little lights and stuff like that um, as you can see with the zombie heads and the item frames with the glass in it. Um, and everything like that. So that guy's right there is pretty much the uh, Type 92 Ju uh, Sakosha. Hopefully I said that right. It's J-Y-U. I, I don't know how to really pronounce that. Ju? I, I don't know. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial for this vehicle and just enjoy the vehicle in general. And I uh, look forward to seeing this again in my Christmas special coming out December 24th. But with that guys, uh, we can go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer. Layer 1. Now for layer 1 here we're going to go ahead and basically set up the bases of the tank and uh, everything like that. As I mentioned earlier it's a pretty small tank and as you guys can see so it's not going to be uh, too uh, hard of a layer. It's going to be pretty uh, straightforward. So anyways to go ahead and get started we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a stone brick half slab followed by a stone brick top slab. Now basically if you uh, are going ahead and building this this is the right front of the uh, tracks so you can see right up here. So basically you have that going on right there. So if you go ahead and uh, look at this from above, you guys can kind of see how big that is in comparison and make sure you just have plenty of space for it. Now after you go ahead and place down that stone brick half slab, we're going to go ahead and follow it up by placing down four dark oak wood stairs going back like that. After you do that, we're just going to go ahead and place down another stone brick half slab followed by a stone brick top slab. Just like that and that's going to create your right side of the tracks. Now going ahead and moving along, we want to go ahead and go to this stone brick half slab right here. Place down a row three of dark oak wood top slabs going across like that. And then on the back here, we just want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate in the center like so. Now going ahead and going to this front portion up here, we're going to go, ahead and go to these uh, stone brick half slab, or the, basically this stone brick half slab up here in the front. And we just want to go ahead and place down a total of three across just like that. Then after we go ahead and do that, we just want to go ahead and take our 
dark oak wood slabs and we'll just place them down like this and connect it up. So we just have a big rectangle right there and that's going to be the very base of the tank. Now again, after you go ahead and do that, we're going to place down a stone brick half slab, followed by a stone brick top slab, and basically duplicate what we did on the other side over to here. Again, it's just going to be the same exact design over to our left side, just like we did over there on the right side. So looking at it, you should have something kind of looking like that for your base. And uh, that guy's right there is it for layer one. As I mentioned, pretty simple stuff. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer two. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer two. Now for layer two, what we want to do is we want to start off by taking a stone brick stair, placing down one on top of our stone brick top slab like that on the other side. Then uh, after that, we're going to place down a row five behind those uh, stone brick stairs. So just like that row five all the way across. And we just want to go ahead and take some dark oak wood slabs and place down three across in between the stone brick stairs. Now on either end of the row five, we want to go ahead and take a stone button, place it down just like that. And then on the sides here, taking our stone brick slabs, you want to place down two stone brick top slabs, followed by a dark oak wood top slab, followed by two stone brick half slabs, just like that. And then another dark oak wood half slab like that. So going ahead and going over here to this side, we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same process over again. So just like that, take that back like so. Then we just want to go ahead and fill up the center here. So we're just going to take this, run this all the way back to where equal to where this uh, dark oak wood half slab is. And we just want to go ahead and place down some rows of three of green stained clay. Now I'm filling this basically in because there really is going to be no space for interior. If you guys try to put one in, you guys might have some luck in fitting one, but honestly there will be uh, pretty much no space for an interior. So uh, that's one thing about tank gets is that they're just small and with Minecraft and all that stuff, you're, it's really hard to get anything inside those inside these things so I'm just gonna be filling it up for the sake of the tutorial now on the back side here we want to go ahead and place down a couple of placeholder blocks place down a dark oak wood fence gate actually we're just gonna go and place down three uh, dark oak wood fence gates across like that and then we want to go ahead and take the center one and open it up like that so it looks like it connects up to the uh, to the actual hull of the vehicle and uh, that guy's right there is it for layer two and with that we can move on to layer three Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, layer 3. Now for this layer to get started, what we want to do is we want to take some green carpet here. And we're just going to place down 1 and 2 like that on the sides. And the sides up there in the front, just like that to represent our fenders. Now after you go ahead and uh, do that, we're going to go ahead and go to the right side here. And place down a green stain clay full block like that. Again, this is only on the right side. Coming off that green stain clay block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, fence gate and another one just like that so you have two coming off of it for our next kind of row behind this right here we're going to place down a second green stain clay block behind the one we just placed then we want to place down a dark oak wood stair like this on either side then over here on the left side we're going to place down a green stain clay block next to this dark oak wood stair and then we just want to place down a dark oak wood half slab like that and that's going to be part of our viewport there in the front as you can see right there now uh, going ahead and going over here, we're just going to go ahead and temporarily place down a item frame. We'll come back to that in a sec here, but uh, we want to place down an item frame, and that's going to be basically for our front uh, little headlight. And we also want to place down a stone button right there on that green stingway full block, just like that. Now, after you go ahead and uh, finish that front part up there, we're going to place down a green stingway full block on either side. And then on the uh, on this uh, side over here, so the left side, we're going to place down a wooden trap door. And we're not going to actually place down anything on this green stankway block on this side. So we're going to go ahead and leave that one alone. Then we want to place down a dark oak wood stair on either side like that. And then we just want to place down a row of uh, three here of green clay across. Uh, just like that. As you guys can see, <laughs> very little interior space, if anything, really. Um, so just like that. Now, once we get to this point here, we're going to place down two stone brick stairs back. And two stone brick stairs over here as well followed by two green stain clay full blocks there in the center. Now over here on the sides we're going to place down, or basically here on the left side we're going to place down a green carpet, followed by two red sandstone uh, half slabs like that. Then on the back here we just want to place down three dark oak wood stairs across like that so two ones on the outside should be corner stairs. And then coming over here to the right side what I did here you guys can kind of switch this up a little bit. Um, you guys could just take green carpet, take it back like that. But what I did is I went ahead and placed down a green carpet dark oak wood uh, slab and then a green stain clay full block just like that and uh, that's pretty much what I did for that 
Now the one last final thing we have left for this layer is we just want to go ahead and take some glass and put it down in the item frame like that to represent that front uh, spotlight. But other than that guys, that's pretty much it for our uh, third layer and with that we can move on to layer four. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and move on to our next layer, layer four. Now for layer four what we want to do is we want to go ahead and basically start off by going to the front up here and placing down two green carpets, one on top of this dark oak wood half slab and one on top of this green stink white full block. Now after that we're going to go ahead and take a zombie head, place down a zombie head on that dark oak wood stair on either side, just like that. Again, those are going to be for uh, two little uh, lights that are uh, there on the front. Now, once we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and go to the left side here. Place down two dark oak with half slabs, just like that. And then after we go ahead and do that, we want to place down two rows of uh, two there of green stained clay. Now, coming off the row here to the right, we're basically where these two green stained clay full blocks are, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off, just like that, for the barrel of the uh, machine gun that's in this turret. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button and place down a stone button on the back, just like that. And then on top of this section right here, on top of these green stained clay blocks, we're just going to place down some wind trap doors, just like that. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever and place it down on that green stained clay block, coming out to the side, just like that. And that's going to be basically a uh, amount there for our antenna that we will uh, get to in our next part of the tutorial. But uh, yeah, so as you guys can see there, that's pretty much it for layer four. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to layers five, six, and seven and finish this build off. So let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, or next layers I should say. Uh, basically these are going to be the final layers of the vehicle and we'll be able to finish it off after this. So to go ahead and get started here, we want to place down a dark oak wood stair. Over here, kind of on the left side on top of this uh, turret. And then we want to place down a button followed by an item frame and then a glass block in the item frame just like that and that's going to be a spotlight that is located on the turret. Now after you go ahead and do that on the remaining green stain clay blocks around here we're just going to go ahead and place down dark oak wood half slabs on top just like that. Now the last thing for this tutorial is we're just going to go ahead and place down an iron bar on top of this lever like that so we have one, two, and three up like that and that right there is going to do it for our type 92 uh, tankette. I think it came out really nice. Looks uh, nice and nice and small like a tankette should and uh, would go along with any uh, little Japanese scenario, whatever you guys are putting together, which would uh, be pretty cool. So anyways guys, that's going to be it for this uh, vehicle. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys do end up using this design, be sure to give me a proper credit this painting from a link to my channel uh, or a sign on the bill, whatever you guys uh, want to put in there. Just make sure I get proper credit for the uh, vehicle. That's all I ask for. Uh, when doing these tutorials helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to produce these tutorials but uh yeah that guys is pretty much it again be sure to just what world war two vehicles you would like to see next time in my tutorial series i'll be sure to try to get to them as soon as i can but anyways guys until the next video thank you guys so much for watching and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been good 2x4 and i'll see you guys next time